What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful spring break. Uh, this is just kind of an announcement that I'm putting out there as we are coming into the home stretch of the year. Now, this is for my U.S. history class and my elective humanities. Uh, I'll keep this one pretty brief, but basically all of my normal like routines and stuff are well set at this point. So if you've been doing good in my class, if you have an A or a B right now, uh, basically for you, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Uh, but I also wanted to throw out there that I think some some people are waking up to, hey, the <laughs> online school, you're not just going to get advanced up like an elementary school where they pass you on. In high school, it's a credit-based system. Uh, but for everybody out there, even if you've kind of put yourself in a hole, you can still get credit for my U.S. History or Humanities class, even if you did terrible in quarter three. But you're not going to be able to save it in the last week or two. Uh, we're still pretty early on in quarter four. Uh, so even if, like let's say you're in a scenario where you got a 10 percent in quarter three. That's you put yourself in a pretty big hole. But. <clears throat> If you really tune in now and you start getting everything done and you buckle down through quarter four, even if the math doesn't work out for you, if you, if you convince me that you're putting in effort and you care and you start making all the deadlines, I will make sure you at least get credit in my class. Uh, if you're in that scenario, you're not going to finish with an A or a B, but you can get credit. Uh, for those of you that are doing pretty well, you got a passing grade in quarter three. Uh, if you got an A, let's let's work to keep it at an A. You know what I mean? Finish strong through quarter four. But even if you're kind of mid-range on the grade scale, you got a C or a D, I'm telling you what, if you buckle down and you really finish strong through the end of the year, uh, whatever you got in quarter three, you can definitely boost it up. And remember, uh, you're in high school now, all of you, and I have a lot of freshmen in class. So the quarterly grades don't really matter. It's the semester grades that 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 carries what your credit will be, your GPA. Um, so finish strong. Convince me you care. Be checking in daily. Uh, if you do those things, you'll end up finishing out uh, finishing out strong and, and do well. I think in my class. Uh, if you have any questions for me or. You know, you have been checked out up to this point in the year and you want to know what you can do to make sure you get credit and to get the best possible score you can. By all means, shoot me an email, contact me or better yet, come into school and see me, meet me now that we're uh, switching classes and, and have a conversation with me. And I will uh, do everything I can to help you out and assist you. So in the home stretch of the year, finish strong keep up the good work. And if you haven't been doing good work, well, start doing some good work now. Uh, it, it's not too late at this point. All right. Take care. See you guys soon.